What we're doing today is we're assisting um, DCNR's Climate Tuning State Park in a rapid response to an invasive aquatic plant. That invasive aquatic plant is called European frog bit. And like a lot of invasive plants, it has properties that are very detrimental. It spreads quickly, it can outcompete native species, it obstructs habitat uh, for wildlife, waterfowl. So the park, the park hopped on this problem and they're trying to eradicate the small isolated populations before it becomes more widespread and more problematic. So we're just lucky that we were invited to help out today. The great thing about what's going on right now with invasive species management in Pennsylvania is there's a statewide initiative to collaborate among the agencies. There's a statewide invasive species council, DEP is a member, DCNR is a member, Fish and Boat, a lot of uh, governmental agencies and some non-governmental organizations as well. And when something like this um, is brought to the attention of the group, we can mobilize more quickly and we can work you know, as a, as a one state team rather than individual agencies to try to solve the problem. And that's exactly what's going on today. We're working as a team to try to manage um, a newly discovered aquatic invasive species. So we could not do what we do here at Pima Tuning without our partners. Um, we need as many hands, as many resources as we can get in order to effectively manage our invasive species here at Pima Tuning. Um, we're lucky enough that we have some great partners in the area between the conservation districts, PAC grants, DEP, um, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, the Game Commission. We all work hand in hand in order to keep our ecosystems healthy. The best thing that fishermen and outdoorsmen and people that care about stewardship of the environment can do uh, is not spread these species from one water body to another. And the best thing to do is to simply clean, drain, and dry your boat, your fishing gear, um, before you uh, access one water body after leaving the previous. So clean, drain, and dry prevention is number one. When it gets to this stage, we're in a rapid response in an attempt to eradicate or suppress the species that's already gotten a foothold. It's so much more difficult to deal with one of these invading species once they're introduced into a new location um, as opposed to preventing their introduction to begin with.